Well, here is the project that we had last time, tutorial 3. And uh, let me remind you what it did if we run the project. We have a sprite, a horse, which moves across the screen. And what we want to do is to use a dinosaur instead of the horse. And instead of move it just, we want to animate the dinosaur. So we have here 13 images of the dinosaur, which together make up an animation. And we will drag that into our project and we'll get rid of the horse. Now instead of this, where we set up the horse and create an action for it, we will um, call a function set up dino and instead of horse running an action we will have the dino run the action which we will call dino run okay let me take this uh, <clears throat> dino and dino run and declare them as instance variables for our class. So we have a variable called dino, which is of type sk sprite node. And we'll have a variable called dino run which is of type sk action there okay let's now create this setup dino function so we'll go and say func set up dino no input parameters and the first thing we'll do we will take the first image in our atlas this one and we'll set our dino sprite to it dino equals sk sprite node image named dino one dot png okay let's position it dino dot position equals cg point with x screen with 0 0.5 and Y screen height 0 0.5. So we are setting up dinos in the middle of the in the middle of the screen. Self add child dino. Let's run this, see if it works. Well, we have to comment out this. 
run it. There we have a right. Uh, dyno but it's not in the middle so it's because we should have screen height here screen height run again and now it's in the middle okay so <clears throat> Let's now look at our atlas. It's called Dino.atlas. So let us create it. Let atlas. Be equal to SK, SK texture atlas. Named. And it is named Dino. As you can see here is this name, this dino. All right, let's now uh, make up our action. Let anim be equal to sk action. Animate with textures. Animate with textures. And here we have to give it a, um, as you can see here, a um, array of textures. And then we need to say how much time there is uh, per frame. So, uh, <coughs> this will be an array which we have to specify and times per frame will be, well, let's say 0 0.1 so we get 10 frames um, per second so what we have to specify now is this uh, this array. So let's do it line by line. Um, we'll get it from the from our atlas textures or inside our atlas. So we'll say atlas dot texture named and the name is dino1.png like that and then we have this is the first element so we take the next element and the next element and we have 13 in total so just two and three and four and five and six seven eight nine ten eleven two more Twelve, thirteen. We don't need this because we are stopping the array here. So, like that, there we have our anim action. And let's take take that and repeat it forever. So we have our. Dino run action, dino run, which we will set equal to sk action dot repeat action forever, and our 
action is called anim. Okay, something like that. So let's hit command B to build and see if there are any errors. No errors so far. So let's run it. And there you have the dyno running. Okay, let's stop this. Now, of course, I've done it, set up the animation explicitly here. In reality, you would make a, a function out of this and you would create this action with a for loop. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.